know this So, no chance in hell You wanna take what's mine, you're just too frail Hey yo, this So, no chance in hell You wanna take what's mine, you're just too frail Hey yo, I have a few things to say to Mr. Herman Cain Fuck you, you idiot! Why don't you just open your goddamn ears and listen, and you'll understand a little bit about what's happening in the goddamn world around you. First of all, he said about Occupy Wall Street that nobody knows what their cause is. Anyone who says this is someone who hasn't fucking paid attention, because the message is fucking obvious. The message is everything is fucked up, we ought to work together to fix it rather than let fucking politicians and corporations blatantly make horrible policy that just the blatantly should go here in my sentence, that just blatantly goes against the majority of the American people. That's what the fucking message is. How is it so fucking hard to understand this? You should have been able to pick, on, pick this up on day fucking one. The entire claim that nobody knows what Occupy Wall Street is about is born of ignorance and an inability to listen to other people. Now, he also says that the American dream has been hijacked by liberals, but we can take it back. What? How's it been hijacked by liberals? It doesn't make any fucking sense. How does, it, how does the American dream get hijacked? What they're doing is called the American dream. They're taking individual responsibility to work together. They all recognize that their individual responsibility only extends so far, and that they can gain a greater responsibility for the rest of the nation as well as for themselves and uh, achieve greater things by working together. That's how they're using their individual responsibility. They're using their individual responsibility not to be fucking lazy and greedy. They're using it to work together, to come together to try and figure out God's damn solutions to our fucking problems. How is it so fucking hard to understand? Hey yo, this is no, no chance to no have. You wanna take what's mine, you're just too frail. Hey yo, this is no, no chance to no have. You wanna take what's mine, you're just too frail. Hey yo, this is no, no chance to no have. You wanna take what's mine, you're just too frail. Hey yo, this is no, no chance to no have. You wanna take what's mine, you're just too frail. Are you ready for war? Now, here's a bit of a longer quote from him in the same article. I don't have the facts to back this up, but I happen to believe that these demonstrations are planned and orchestrated to distract from the failed policies of the Obama administration. Well, fuck you, because if you didn't fucking pay attention, again, you gotta fucking pay attention, you'll realize that a lot of the fucking criticisms and a lot of the signs that are being held up at fucking Occupy Wall Street are signs that could be held up against our government, are signs that could be held up against our fucking uh, president. Because it's not just about Wall Street. We've occupied the shit out of Washington, D.C. We've occupied the shit out of the Capitol steps, out of all the different fucking places that have anything to do with politics. But we're sick of it because we understand that politics is fucking corrupt as shit. So we're like, okay, we can't fucking protest the politicians anymore. It's not working. So what do they do? They go and they fucking... Uh, Go against the other part of the problem. Because there's more than just government that's bad in this fucking uh, society. And that's what we're complaining about. We're complaining about people, uh, corporations and politicians that are working in tandem to screw absolutely everybody else over. Again, in that same quote. Don't blame Wall Street. Don't blame the big banks. If you don't have a job and you're not rich, blame yourself. It's not a person's fault if they succeeded. It's a person's fault if they failed. With this completely fucking ignores is what Herman Cain railed against for several fucking years. It's about the fucking bailouts. That's what we're fucking complaining about. The taxpayers gave them a ton of money and what did they do? They didn't create jobs. They didn't turn around the economy. They didn't use their fucking uh, huge amount of wealth that they have. Because, you know, when a, when a minority of people amass such a majority of wealth, any small actions they take have incredible ripple effects throughout the fucking economy. And this is what ends up blocking people from certain opportunities while allowing others to have those opportunities. Because it doesn't just shut the door on everyone, it shuts the door on just most fucking people. And that's what we're complaining about. This should be fucking obvious just by looking at the fact just the way our income is distributed in this fucking country. And if you look at the income inequality, it's fucking obvious. 
The point is, this individual responsibility argument is retarded, not only just because of what I pointed out earlier, where we are using our individual responsibility to come together, because we recognize that as a group we, we can accomplish more than as individuals. And this is something that should be fucking intuitively fucking obvious, based on the fact that, you know, this nation would be nothing if it weren't for the group of people coming together to form it. You know, uh, basic fucking logic. You know, more people can accomplish things, or a group of people can accomplish more things than one individual can in almost any kind of circumstance. It's just fucking, not only intuitively obvious, but almost all of history points to this being the case. Because even you have your great fucking leaders still relied on groups of people. You know, that, that's, that's what we're complaining about. That's what it's all fucking about. It's an interconnected, very complicated economic system. And everyone is reliant on everyone else in order to succeed. That's how it fucking is. Because CEOs would be fucking nothing without the groups of workers and the groups of other small or lower executives working underneath them. They would be nothing without all these people working to get money from them to eventually return to them to buy the products and services that they provide and create. Or create and provide, rather. Um... It's a fucking complicated economic system. So this argument where individual responsibility is the primary thing is the most retarded thing I've ever heard. And it just completely ignores the fact that you interact with millions, if not billions of people when you interact in the economy in ways you don't understand and don't immediately see directly and both indirectly. It's very, very, very fucking complicated. And when this happens, you can have ripple effects and things that just keep cascading throughout the economic system and just fuck all kinds of things up in ways we never fucking saw possible. It should be fucking obvious by the fact that we've gone through so many booms and busts ever since uh, corporations really began. But it should be... Ah, I don't understand it. Why don't these fucking people just think for two fucking minutes? And yes, I am fucking pissed off if it wasn't fucking obvious by now. I'm pissed off that an idiot of this caliber, someone who's unwilling to even listen to a majority of the fucking people, not, not listen in the sense that he listens and like takes, you know, follows what they say, but just open his fucking ears and pay attention to the world around him. He's so fucking ignorant, I don't know how. He's, he has any shot of winning the Republican primary, and if he does, I'll actually be fucking happy as shit, because there's no way this fucker is going to win. And I can say the same thing about almost every other fucking Republican primary candidate, because they're all fucking crazy, and they all fucking go against at least uh, a majority of the uh, fucking American population, if you look at any of the fucking trends in the poll. No, 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 no,